Anything's possible if you just believe. This um, Annabelle, An Annabelle odd shot. And then, <laughs> <laughs> there's like a gun and he's just like dancing around it. Hey guys, welcome back to the topic. It's Shay. And it's Lane. And um, today we are doing our monthly favorites. So we're gonna kind of touch base on some of the things we liked and some of the things we didn't like. So yeah, you wanna start? Sure. Okay, so a few things that I have that are my favorite right now. Um, two of them are concealers. This is New York, or sorry, NYX's HD concealer. Um, I like this because it's not like pink and I find that a lot of concealers and foundations have a pink undertone to them and my skin doesn't so when I put pink things it just doesn't look that great. And the other one that I have is Maybelline's uh, Master Concealer and it's also, and I got this one in the color light. So this is a lot lighter than my skin tone but I use it for like under my eyes and the highlights. So I find that these two are both very pigmented and they do their job. Okay, uh, next thing I have is this um, aroma blend natural oil and this is for like you know those like burners that you have in your room that make smell this is what it's yeah. for but I use it as like a perfume which is weird but I'm pretty sure it's natural so I can put it on my body if I want to I'm sure it is yeah and this is in Darjeeling and it's sandalwood cedarwood and it's the brand essence um, and I don't even know I just I like smell it. but like I don't know what you would explain that to be oh yeah I don't know, it's just amazing. sandalwood. If you know what yeah. sandalwood smells like. That's what that is. Yeah. So this is like amazing. It's and it's lasted me so long. Like it's a tiny little bottle, but like got this like two years ago. We, yeah. We got it together. Um, okay. Another um, cosmetic piece is this um, Annabelle, An Annabelle <laughs> eyebrow pencil. Um, this is in Universal Medium. I'm actually running out of it now. It's like almost gone. Um, but yeah, I find this is a really good eyebrow pencil. Lots of control and it's blendable. So when you like um, spoolie it out, it actually works. That's good. Yeah, so this is great. Um, two more things that I, oh sorry, that physically and then I have some things on my phone <laughs> I want to read. So I'm obsessed with bath and body candles and like, if you know me, you know this. I have like 20, um, but they're like 20 bucks for the three wick candles, pretty yeah. expensive. I went to Safeway and I found this like Airwick scented candle yeah. and it was only like, I think it was like $2 or $3. And it's in vanilla, it smells amazing. It smells amazing even oh if I don't have God. it lit. Yeah, it's, and it's incredible. And it's so lasted nice. me so long. I like, you know it looks like it's gross and almost gone, but it's lasted me forever. So, deaf favorite of October. Third, or la, <laughs> <laughs> Words are so hard today. This other thing that I just thought we went to Urban Outfitters and I found this. It's a ab I was gonna say absinthe, <laughs> amethyst um, rock crystal, and it's a keychain. And I just like I like the idea behind these kind of rocks. And I know that each one is a little different, and it just depends if you believe in them or not. They can help yeah. you. Um, so yeah, if you just like anything's possible if you just believe. And, and it's so pretty and too. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, we'll do close-ups. We'll do some close-ups, yeah, so you guys can it's, see. Yeah, so I just feel very spiritual when I have this. Nice. Yeah. Okay, a few things I just wrote down that I wanted to remember to tell you guys that it's my favorite. Oh, yeah, because I don't have Wi-Fi right now at my house, um, I'm struggling to find things to do, like when I'm in bed doing nothing. So I took advantage of the app that you can't delete on an iPhone, <laughs> and it's iBook, and I just downloaded a bunch of like free books and some of them are super cheesy. This one says, how to lose 10 pounds in a week. Haven't read it yet, but. Um, they have just like a ton of different boot books. Boops. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they have a ton of different books. I have Frankenstein on here. I have That's a good one. Grim Fairy Tales. So oh, like, if you want to read a fairy tale before you go to bed, then there you go. Dream Psychology, Medusa, Ulysses Ooh. by James Joyce. Just like anything is on here. So, and it's free, so. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I do that. Um, two other things that I wanted to mention this month that are my favorites. Um, I went to the movie The Martian and Steve Jobs. Both of them I find amazing. The Martian is a little bit Hollywood, but I think that a lot of it is fact-based because it's space and NASA. I think they had a lot to do with it. So I think they tried to make that legit, but it is quite, there's some aspects that you're just like, no, <laughs> <laughs> but that's with any movie. So that's fine. Yeah. And Steve Jobs is... I actually never even read anything about Steve Jobs before or whatever. Yeah, he seems like an asshole, but mm -hmm. holy, that man is yeah. amazing. So go watch that. I think that's it. Oh yeah, 
two other things that I can't show you right now that are my favorite. One is Drake memes that are going around for Hotline Bling. Oh my god, the edits. So funny. We'll have to insert some so you guys oh can see or like link them below or There's something. There's one I actually haven't seen, but I've heard about it. It's um, if Drake knew these moves on Degrassi, he wouldn't have got shot. And then <laughs> there's like a gun and he's just like dancing around it. <laughs> so that one is funny and I love those. Um, oh yeah, my favorite song right now that I've like replayed like a thousand times is it's called Burning House by Cam. I had you heard a dream it? No, it's so good. I'll link it down below also because it's amazing. Go check it out. Cool. That's it. That's it. All right, cool. Um, so my monthly favorites. Um, so the first one is a um, cosmetic. Uh, so this is the NYX um, BB cream in the color natural. Um, this is a perfect um, like foundation for me. Um, it goes on, it's fairly medium coverage, but you can easily like build it up if you want more coverage. Um, and it doesn't have pink undertones, which like Lane mentioned, pink undertones in anything like foundation, cover up, any of that shit just looks awful on me. So um, yeah, this is really, really good. So I've been loving that. Um, I also got some makeup brushes. Now I'm just showing you guys like three here because I'm currently using all the other ones, um, but they're um, the brand Jessup. I got these on eBay. Um, a bunch of people recommended them as like dupes for um, like Sigma brushes and things like that. So I decided to give it a try, um, and I was really happy. They're really, really soft. They work really, really well. Um, and I think I got like 15 brushes for like 15.99 or something. So a really good deal. Um, so I'll link those down below if you guys are interested. Um, and yeah, and I just picked the ones with the pink handles because. But I go some of them are girly. Um, the next thing, um, cosmetics, is this Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And I got this in a little Sephora um, box type thing. And I was never really a huge bronzer person before just because I don't think I had very good bronzers. But I love this. It works really, really well. And this is like the perfect size. So if you're like looking for a bronzer, you want to try one out, um, see if you can get like a sample of this or something at Sephora because it's awesome. Um, next is this Josie Moran Argan Oil. Um, so Lane was actually, I already told Lane about this, but it has no packaging. It has no label, nothing on it, just says Argan Oil. So I assumed it was for my hair. So I got like all excited and I like went and took the cool little eyedropper and I like did some on my fingers and I was like massaging my hands and I was massaging all through my hair. And then I like stopped and I was like, what the f is in my hair? This is disgusting. <laughs> it was like all greasy and sliming. Like I know obviously like an oil is supposed to like make your hair feel really soft, but this is disgusting. It was so gross. I just like jumped in the shower and washed it all off. So I actually looked it up um, because there's no packaging on this thing. Um, they say you can use it on your hair, would not recommend for your hair. Um, but this is a really good like facial um, moisturizer. I've been finding um, that my skin um, is starting to dry out at night. So I just put a couple drops in my fingers, rub it together, and then just rub it all over my face. Um, and this shit's awesome, so yeah. Not for hair. <laughs> um, next is a perfume. Um, so this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Perfume. It's just in a little rollerball. Um, it's actually supposed to be, or the black one is supposed to be more for men. They also have a white one, um, but I don't didn't like the white as much. I don't like really like fruity floral. I like more like um, yours that you mentioned, more that like, kind of sandalwood, like a musky scent. Um, so I'm like in love with this. I use this shit like basically every day and it's almost running out now, so I'm gonna have to buy some more. But yeah, definitely been loving this. Um, next is the Tea Tree Blemish Fade Night Lotion. Now, I don't swear by a lot of products to help make my pimples go away because I find a lot of them don't work, but this one does the trick. Like, I wash my face, cleanse everything, and then you can either put this all over your face or just like in the spots that you have pimples. And I'm not even joking, they will go down by at least half a size overnight. This stuff works awesome. It doesn't irritate your skin. It doesn't like you know really dry it out but it's just like the tea tree oil is amazing in this um so you can get this at the, it's a body shop so if you're in the market for something like that definitely get that and my final beauty product is this um classic clean sea breeze astringent um i just randomly found this in the back of like my cupboard um of products 
and um, I'm like in love with it. I n- knew it was kind of like a toner, you know, you just put on a little cotton pad to wipe your face down after. But one night after I washed my face, I thought my face was like clean, like all the gunk was gone. And I go and I use this th- this like pad with this astringent on it, and this thing is like covered in makeup. And I was like, oh my god, like I put cream on my face before I go to bed and all that shit is still in there so I swear by this stuff toners and astringents are definitely good to clean um it kind of leaves my skin feeling all tingly and so I know it's working um but yeah that is it's amazing I swear by it um yeah so my two other favorites um one is a fashion item or accessory and it is this really pretty fringe red um purse it does have a strap or you can take them off and use it as a clutch um i got this at winners i ended up taking back what my mom got me for my birthday and got this instead um so it's really cute it just has these little decorative gold knobs on it and then it's just like two pouches on the inside so i've been loving this i think this is just a great way to spice up like any kind of boring or plain outfit slap slap and the last one is a tv show um if anybody like knows me in real life you guys know that i'm obsessed with television shows um and i watch a lot but the one i've been loving a lot lately is um quantico i remember watching the trailer for it or whatever the promo i was like uh kind of looks stupid it looks like every other crime show that I watch um but I decided I would give it a try anyways and I like love the show it's so good it like jumps back and forth between like present and then like six or seven months prior um but yeah I just really love it it's it's a really good show so if you guys are looking for a new tv show to try I would definitely recommend that one Oh yeah. Two things that are my unfavorites this month are this dry shampoo by Herbal Essence. This is this is like the worst dry shampoo I think I've ever tried in my life. I think it does the opposite. I think if you want like greasy hair, use this because this does nothing and it just makes your hair a lot worse. It's like it's like liquid when you pour it out. Yeah. You know, some of them like they dry up the oil in your hair. This just like like it looks like it's just like it's spitting on you. Gross. It's disgusting. Yeah. It smells good, but it sucks. Um, and my second unfavorite, believe it or not, is the iPhone 5C. <laughs> I just got this, like, I'll take it out of the case, a month ago, like, before I moved here. And it has, like, crapped the bed on me so many more times than my 4 has, and yeah. I've only had it for a month. So I think this is just a phone that they made as a novelty item. Like, it's colorful, it's pretty. But as far as, like, productivity and, I don't know, just the general goodness of it, it's not. It sucks. So if you're looking at an iPhone C don't save the money get a four even <laughs> apple if you're watching Selena send me phone. a new phone this is garbage <laughs> and i hope a thousand people watch this video because i hate it <laughs> so that's how i really feel oh i don't have my unfavorite with me but like lane it is an awful dry shampoo um it is the dove one i'll like put a close-up in so you guys can see it um but yeah it's awful it smells nice but same thing like you put it on your hair and it just yeah. like makes it greasier it's it's disgusting so definitely don't buy that if you're thinking about it or just check it out if you have it. Yeah. So, Actually, I'm going to recommend a dry shampoo if you're in the market for it. For me, um, the Batiste one does. Like, yeah, it's, it's like trendy and like yeah. it's really popular, but it is actually, it does the trick, I think. That's good. Or baby powder. Don't even just like... Yep. I use baby powder. Another one I will recommend, though, that I'm not going to stray from buying because I want to shoot myself in the foot every time I do. I'll link it down below. It's called Chlorine. You can, it's like some chlorine, chlorine, <laughs> not chlorine. Don't put chlorine in your hair, folks. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's like some European brand or something. They sell at Trapper's Drug Mart. It's not a huge bottle, but that shit fucking works amazing. It's like made of natural ingredients. It's got like oatmeal, milk and stuff in it. And it works really oh, well. You, I've tried yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it smells nice too. It doesn't smell like really chemically. So if you're looking for a good dry shampoo, that's what I recommend. So. Come on now. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. That's all we have today. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm.